us today for day five, and this is a paper pillowcase collage. Inside your box, you're going to have a glue brush. Don't forget to grab your paint brushes from the other project because you're gonna need them like this. And you have different colors of paint here. And inside your paper bag, the big flat one, you're going to find your, your things that you need to finish out your project. So you have a sheet, a whole newspaper here. You have a pattern, which is a pelican that I drew for you. No one else has this exact one, so you're kind of special. And then your canvas that you're going to be putting all of this on. So if you want to join me over here at the table, I'll show you how this all goes together. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your newspaper and you're gonna cut it into quarters. So I'm gonna open this up and this is half right here, top and bottom. Then if you cut that across, you'll end up with a half. And then if you cut it again, this way, you'll have a quarter of a sheet. So I'm gonna fold that over just so you can see how big a quarter of a sheet is. And this is the size that you're gonna be working with. So I've gone ahead and I've cut mine up and I've painted it. There's my quarter of a sheet. I've used black for a quarter. I've used gray for a half sheet. I painted some yellow on a quarter sheet and I painted white on a half sheet. Okay, so we've got two halves and two quarters right here. Okay, so whenever you do your gray, everybody knows how to make gray, or I hope you do. If you don't, that's okay. You just mix a little bit of black, and I do mean a little bit of black, into some white. And I actually just mixed it right on the paper. I didn't use anything fancy. I didn't have to have a powder or a plate. I just poured a little bit of it on the paper and I just spread it out. And I got this beautiful pelican gray that we're gonna be using today. All right, so what you're gonna do first, or after you've got your papers painted, you're going to take your pelican picture right here and look at it. <laughs> Remember in your mind's eye where everything goes. This is his bill. Let me draw this out for you as we talk. This part right here is his bill. This whole piece right here. This is his face. This piece around his eye. And this part is his pouch, okay? We're going to be using black for this area also. So his face is black and his pouch is black also. His bill will be yellow. Then we're also going to use the yellow again for this area around his face. This is always a beautiful, beautiful yellow during certain parts of the year for these Eastern Brown Pelicans. This area here on his back of his head and his neck is white. This part's yellow and then the rest of him will be gray. This area right here, his chest and the top of his wing will be the gray. So this is a little complicated, but it's really, if you just take your time and go slow, it's not that hard. What you're gonna do is you're going to cut around your pelican, okay? You're going to use your scissors to very carefully stay on those lines the best you can, okay? It's super important that you don't get off those lines. And you may have to have a, a grown-up help you with this, but that's okay. It's okay to ask for help. Just very carefully cut around those lines. I want to go this way and then come back and cut. Sometimes it's easier to get rid of all that excess paper out of your way so you can get into those little bitty areas like this. If you accidentally cut one of those feathers off, it's okay. Every pelican's different. It is all right, just like everybody's different. Okay, so we're gonna keep walking, or cutting. We're gonna keep cutting. <laughs> Let the scissors walk down the line, I guess you could say. All the way down our pelican's bill. To the very tip. Cut around just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut all of this extra paper off here because we don't need it. It's just in the way. And I'm going to move it out of the way really quickly. 
so we don't have to worry about tripping over it or painting or walking or cutting around it. <laughs> I have moving on my mind. We have our pelican cut out basically done. Okay, so here's where it gets a little weird, y'all, but trust me on this, okay? You're going to cut out the part that's going to be gray, okay? Very carefully go around the feathers like this. All right, now remember, this part right here is yellow, so we have to leave that attached for right now, okay? So draw, I mean, go ahead and cut right along that side here. I'm getting a little messy, I'm sorry. Try to do a better job than Miss Jennifer, please. I'm not a very good cutter with scissors, but I do my best, and that's all we need you to do is just do your best. And go ahead and cut out that part right here. Okay, so now this is his tummy, or his chest, I should say, and his wing. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take his little, the head part and put it over to the side. You're going to take this part and place it onto the gray paper, and you're gonna trace around it very carefully with your pencil, okay? You are making a pattern on this paper that you are going to cut out and reassemble as your pelican. So that old newspaper that you were just gonna throw away, you're now going to make into a beautiful piece of collage art. How cool is that? I think it's cool. Okay, so now you can cut this part out. And I like that little bit right down there on the end that's not painted, so I'm going to leave that on there. It gives it interest, I think. And cut right along your lines the best you can. It's the same way you did it in the very beginning, okay? This is really good practice for those fine motor skills and cutting on straight lines. Now I want you to remember that you have enough newspaper to make more than one of these. You'll just need to get something to put it on. And you can actually use a big piece of heavy paper to do that. So you don't have to actually put it onto a canvas board. You can find a big piece of cardboard or a piece of cardstock that's really long and use that for your next pelican. So you can use this pattern over and over and over. And I give you permission to use my pelican pattern. Please use it actually. I'd love to see people use it and create more beautiful art with it. That would make me happy. Okay, so I've got my tummy cut out or his chest cut out. All right, so, but he's missing his wing. Uh -oh, we have to fix that. So go ahead and cut out. I'm gonna cut this little extra piece off the bottom here because we don't need that. And I'm gonna cut out his wing out of our pattern, just like this. And I'm going to place it onto the rest of the gray paper that we have. Don't lose this. This is still important for us to keep, okay? You set it to the side, and we're going to place the wing onto the gray paper. And again, we're gonna trace it and cut it out the same way we did his, his chest area. Okay, so just like this. Take your pattern piece and set it to the side, and then cut out this part. Okay, now, to keep things 
neat. I like to take my glue at this point and put just a little bit, a thin layer, on the back of that wing to secure it to his body, okay? Um, I like to keep these two particular pieces together because they can get upside down and crooked really easily. So remember, the long part here goes along the bottom of the pelican's chest area here. All right, so I'm gonna take the glue and I'm gonna put some on the back. You don't have to use a lot of glue for this because newspaper sticks together really easy. So just gently put some glue on the back of it with your glue brush. Make sure you get to the edges. That's super important. Get the edges, okay? And then you're going to take and you're gonna line it up with the bottom here and stick it down, okay? So his little wing is now attached to his body and we're not gonna lose it because sometimes it can get lost if you don't go ahead and stick it together right there. Now take this and put it off to the side. Okay, now our next piece that we're gonna cut out is his yellow spot right here on his chest. This is yellow on the adult pelicans and it's already mostly cut out, so all you have to do is just cut out this little part right here underneath his chin. Take it and very carefully place it onto, because you're gonna need some of this. Don't forget, we're still gonna put his bill on here and his head right here. Place this somewhere close to the bottom on the side. I think right down here will be safe, okay. So I'm gonna very carefully trace around it. Okay. Now, I have that part done. I'm gonna place the, my pattern over here with the other parts. And I'm gonna cut out this part of our pelican's head along with his bill. And I'm gonna do his bill first because the majority of it is already cut out. So watch carefully where I cut, okay? I'm just gonna go up the under part of his bill, separating his pouch from his bill, just like this. And I'm gonna stop where it meets that little curve. You see that little curve right here? We're gonna stop right there. And we're going to cut around that curve for his bill. and do that for the next two curves also. Here and here, okay? So there's his bill separated from his body. Okay, here we go. You're gonna take this and you're gonna place it onto this yellow paper. Make sure it fits. Get it on there somewhere. Remember, we've still got to cut out the top of his head, so make sure you have plenty of space up here. Don't put your bill in the middle like this because you won't have enough yellow paper left over. So make sure you're using as, getting it as close to the sides as you can. Let's see if we can make it do, ah, oh, look at that, it fit perfect. Yeah, well that's a win-win situation right there, y'all. Okay, so move it over to the edge, move that top part over to the edge, and you don't even have to cut that part out. All you have to do is just trace around it, like this. You have a pelican bill, nice and neat. Awesome. So take your pattern again and place it over to the side. Actually, at this point, what you can do is, do you see these two lines that run all the way down their bill? A pelican's bill actually opens up on the sides so they can swallow large quantities of water and fish at the same time. So. It's really cool how these are these bills are put together. This is actually the mouth opening right here, and his pouch is the part that hangs down underneath where all of the water and the fish go so he can swallow it down into his throat. So you can draw this line starting up here in this corner. Just make it run parallel with this line, with this bottom line, until you get all the way almost to the very end. Now you'll see that little dip right here. Can you see that little bitty dip right there? You're gonna stop it right there because this meets it here, okay? That is where it stops. Now this one starts at right 
we're going to make a little curve right here and it goes straight up it's got just a little space here go straight up the side just like this my newspaper's curving y'all and it meets that spot right there so now you've got your bill already drawn out so we're going to cut that out real quick Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to do his head next. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm getting ahead of myself. This part right here is the next piece of yellow that we're going to cut. So, we're going to cut it out. You're thinking, Miss Jennifer, this pelican looks really, really weird. That's okay. It's going to look even weirder before we're done. But I promise it'll be beautiful whenever it's finished. Just believe in yourself, y'all. You can do this. So now you have his little yellow part of his face cut out, just like that. And oh, I didn't cut it all the way. There we go. We have plenty of space here for the for his, for that part to be cut. So I want to go ahead, and you can even use this if you want to make another one. So be sure to save as much space as you can on there, and just gently trace around it. Make sure your, your pattern doesn't wiggle around, okay? Because if you don't trace it just right, you might end up with the wrong dimensions on there. Okay, so put your head part to the side. We're gonna put our bill over here and then you're gonna cut these out and I'll see you back here when you're done. All of your pelican pieces cut out you're going to reassemble them on your canvas um, you can paint your canvas before now any color that you want I think I've already recommended blue is a really good color to use for a background but again it's your pelican so be creative and, and make a beautiful background for yours um, but we're gonna go ahead and do what's called a dry fit of the pieces so once you've got them all cut out take and assemble them back onto your canvas and I like to go from the bottom up. So I've got his body down here. And here's his neck that we cut out from our white paper. And we're going to place it right here. Then here's his head that goes over the white like this. And then we have his face part right here. Now you'll notice that we don't have an eyeball on there. That's okay, we'll do it last. So you're gonna put that there. And then here's his pouch for his beak his bill, I should say, it goes right down here along his neck and his big bill goes here. And then his little bitty part, this will stick down with your glue. This little part right here is that little bit of yellow on their chest. So now that we've got, we see where he is on the canvas, we can go ahead and begin to glue him down. So I just like to gently push this off to the side, grab your glue paintbrush and your little tub of glue and start glue. Whenever you do this, you'll notice that your paper kind of creases a little bit because of the moisture content of your glue. That's okay. You don't want it to be perfectly smooth, but you can gently take your finger and go from the inside out, working those little bubbles out. But I like to leave some of those wrinkles in there because I 
think it just gives it a little bit of extra um, interest when you're looking at it. So once you've got his body down, you're gonna move on to your next piece. Now that you've got your pelican cut out and glued back down to your canvas, um, you're going to take your glue and you're going to paint the whole thing. You're going to cover it entirely with an entire with a layer of glue. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And the reason you're doing this is you're sealing the pa the paper to your canvas so it won't peel up eventually. And it also helps if you've got like little bitty tiny points or whatever that are sticking up. It'll help lay them down and lay and help it lay smooth. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue the whole pelican now. And I'll see you back here when we're done. Once you've got your glue on your pelican, you're gonna to wanna to let it dry. You don't wanna be able to see any of the, the, the glue. Um, see how it's kind of white here, opaque? You don't wanna see that. Whenever it dries, it dries clear. So whenever it dries clear, you're gonna take your white paint and your small paintbrush that's in your kit, and you're gonna take just a tiny little dab of it and put an eye right here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, even though my glue isn't dry, um, where to put the eye. I'm gonna put it right here, but I'm gonna warn you ahead of time, if you do it while your glue is super wet, the paint is gonna mix with the glue and it's gonna bleed out and you'll have a pelican with an eye that's this big. So <laughs> trust me when I say, just wait. Uh, wait till your glue is dry and then take your little paintbrush with just a little bit of white and give him a little bit of, um, give him his little eye right here. And you can even go back with your black and dip the end of your paintbrush in your black and put it right in the middle and give him a little pupil. And I will show you how to do that quickly. I'm gonna get my black paint out here. Um, this is a fun little trick I, I learned a long time ago from a good friend of mine, Chris Broussard. Some of y'all may know her. So you just take your paintbrush, the end of your paintbrush, and dip it into the paint and just very carefully find the middle of this eye. And you're gonna wait, wanna wait until the paint is dry to do this also, that white paint, wait till it's dry. And just dip it down in there and he's got a little eye. Okay, good job y'all.